Hello friends, Everman22 here. Just wanted to show you the new patch notes for Dawn of War 3. I'm really happy about them. Uh, firstly, the most important one I, I think is, at least I think it's the most important, is we now have, let me go back, instead of just power core mode, which was how it was before, a lot of people don't like that, including me, they unleashed or released Annihilation Classic and Annihilation with Defense. This is just regular, you know, kill your enemy. No power core, no defenses. This is with defenses, like the turrets. So that's pretty nice. Like, I think it was incredibly stupid that they unleashed, re released. I don't know, I keep saying unleashed. It's not like they're letting out the hounds. I think it's incredibly stupid that they released just power core like why why would you do this just one game mode and it's not even the game mode we wanted we just wanted to like you know blow the crap out of each other none of that power core bull crap but that's nice so they finally did that and then they, if you want you can keep the turrets with them they also released some um some free skins which is nice it's always nice we got one for the imperial knight paladin this, which is the Imperial Knight House Raven. That is spooky. I love it. Very green and eerie. And this is what it looked like before. The original. See? That's a big difference. Like, that's a really big difference. That's a, a very detailed alternate skin. Very detailed. Well, the back's exposed. I have a match chat. Okay, I was about to say, I didn't get a match. That's one for the Space Marines, or one free trace. Let's go to check out the orcs. One for the uh, Gorkanat. This is Death Skull Gorkanat. Very. Well, cool looking, obviously, but... Oh, that's a big gun. Very... Apocalyptic. Apocalyptic looking. If I could use words right. That's what it looks like. That's what it reminds me of. This is what it looked like originally. It's really, they just changed his face. And cut the uh, color scheme in half, essentially. But it's still, it's still nice. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna bash free stuff. It's free. Oh, that's Dragon's equipment, it's not it. And then there's one for the Wraith Knight. I think this is the one that looks the worst, in my opinion. That's it right there. It's the, um, Exalted Wraith Knight. And this is the Standard Wraith Knight. See? Essentially, it's just a reskin, really, just a repaint. They painted it black and green instead of white and green. Still nice. I prefer the other two, though. Like, I really like the um, the Imperial Knight Paladin one. It looks, it looks amazing. It really does. They also released some doctrines. One for each race. What was it? No, no. No. There it can. Shuriken Grav Platform. Bone Seekers can construct a stationary shuriken grab platform, and it's re it's un it's unlocked. Dang it! It's unlocked at the beginning, which is nice because you know these things cost a lot of skulls, and skulls are hard to get. The um, skins are unlocked as well. I should have said that to begin with. I think I did though. I don't, I don't even remember. I'm going insane. This one is the uh, I think it's something. Yeah, big shooter turret. They can now construct big shooter turrets. Essentially, it's all about defenses, it looks like. Actually, let me go back. Yeah, it's all about defenses. 
See, I know the space moons also get a turret. They get a uh, tarantula turret. Let me see. Yeah, so extra defenses for all your um, races, which is nice. You can play go to bit, play a dip, bit more defensively. If I could use my words, dang it! I do love that, and I love the sword. It's so good. It's so good. We also get a new map. Mortis Veil. Vale. Two v two and three v three, which is nice. I'm gonna go ahead and. Oh, okay, custom solo then. I'll go ahead and show you it. I'm not going to actually play the multiplayer run. Um, I am sorry I haven't really been releasing a lot of videos lately. At least I think I haven't. I'm going to start doing a lot more lately. I've been a bit busy with other stuff. My job and you know just life in general. But now I've got a schedule worked out that I should be able to release a lot of videos. I'm going to try to get one a day. But I might not be able to do that. At least like... You know, at least five a week, I'd say. Well, maybe not five a week. I don't know. I don't want to make promises and then, you know, like, break them, so I don't know. I'm just going to say that I am going to try to make, release more videos. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to make any promises and then break them, because, like, I got to work a double shift or some crap like that. I'm just gonna show you the map real quick. I recorded the campaign four, or campaign episode four, but then I messed up the audio, so I gotta do that again. Also, um, I'm gonna make more Dawn of War two and Dawn of War three video, or Dawn of War one videos. I mean, Dark Crusade, and you can find those on my Twitch. The first four episodes of my Dawn of War one playthrough are kind of glitchy because I played them on a bad, well not bad, but a lot less powerful computer than this one. But they're not that bad, I don't think. I mean, I thought about re like deleting them all and starting over, but I did a poll and it was like, people were like, no, we want them. I'm like, okay. I guess I won't delete them then. This is a nice looking map. Very... Ally, we have captured okay. a point. Very... Forsaken woods looking, I'd say. Like, this place has been dead for a while and like nature taking it back. I like it. I think it's a nice one. Doesn't seem to be. Yeah, there are multiple ways. Essentially, the map cuts in half right here. And if you control these, you can, like, have hard points. This one right here. We've seized this one right here. Alliance. And then you can take over this one over here. Or maybe that one if you want to, like, move forward aggressively. And then that one, and, and then you're good. I like it. I think that's about it. So yeah, we got a, we got new modes, which is nice. Uh, free uh, free skins and a new free map, and also three free doctrines, which are unlo unlocked already. Which so, all in all, a lot of free content, which I'm happy about. I'm glad they finally included regular, you know, shoot 'em ups instead of all that power core crap. And now if only they the only problem I have now is this skull system. Like they need a Cause I've been playing this game for about I don't know how long. And I only have five hundred and twenty skulls. I mean yeah, I I mainly play campaign, but still. Like I gotta play the missions over and over and over again. I played the first mission over like eight times. And the, the mission costs thirty takes like thirty minutes. At least. Anyway. This is just the patch notes. I'm Everman22. Thank you for watching.